All right. On the left hand side, we have our score for Borderlands and Shift One Suite, but we've chopped out an extract. On the right hand side, we have a screenshot of that score. And we have taken that screenshot and cut it up into three parts. The beginning, five bars, the middle, five bars, and the third, five bars. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing and Vision and Sound 14 4. In today's episode, we spent all of our time working on our 3D in Music exhibit version four. We re-entered by reflecting that we're going to make a planning assumption that the audience or exhibit 80, 20, enjoy and consume music and flip side 20, 80, produce music as well. So we want to share, we want to share the experience we enjoy of speaking musically with both kinds of audience. This includes becoming familiar with existing music vocabulary and extending our music vocabulary. Uh, so as you just saw, we took the score and we cut it up into three pieces that are about seven seconds a piece long. And they look like this. So for example, um, all part one, which is this, this is everything at once. So that's everything all at once. If we just want the cadence, if we just want the shimmer, down here. You can tell shimmer is pretty darn simple minded. Nevertheless, it adds, and these are the phrases too. Here's shimmer too. Also captured sparkle. And then finally, uh, the first phrase. So what haven't we haven't done color yet? Down here, color. And backbone. So what we did with those is we took them and uploaded them into our 3D environment that we've been working on. And the, the current appearance of this environment is this. Um, but the key thing we did is we took those screenshots of the score and put them onto a placard. This is the full score up here, and then there it's divvied up into three vertical wall placards and then these i know it's hard to see these these are three cubes three cubes three cubes three cubes three cubes each each one of these three cubes is the first part the second part and the third part of the score and each of these rows of cubes are the color and the sparkle and the shimmer and the cadence and the backbone and then one of them is everything all at once so in our 3d world if you click these cubes it will play just like we did for you a second ago it'll play exactly those sounds we tested that the other thing that we worked on is um just like we have a 3d uh kind of tower we wanted a 3d stack where's our 3d stack That's this one. So now we're making a similar display like this, where it says musical compositions come from multiplying parts, whereas musical notes come from multiplying vibrations. So this is kind of the joy of theory. And we have two versions of this back card. We decided we like this. We want it to look like it's a stack. We want one of these things to be a tower and the other to be a stack. So it's going to be more horizontal. And that's kind of where we're at so far. 
So the overall exhibit, um, in addition to uh, figuring out our audience, these are the key message so far. This exhibit shares the joy of speaking musically. Immerse yourself in visuals and extend your musical voice. Now, what's being shown is how a scale is built, how a sound is characterized. The joy of theory, putting it all together. Uh, then the interactive displays are the circle and the line, which is this thing here on the left. The tower and the stack, which are these things in the middle and the keyboard and the kit, which are in the back. So the keyboard and the kit, um, we have a big long keyboard that we're gonna put there now that we know So for ideas next time we add that. Add keyboard and kit to back display, which is kind of where they were in the first place. So that concludes today's episode. Um, we already told you what our ideas are for next time to keep working with the 3D and music exhibit. Shout outs to Mr. Spatz and 3D Worker who came in especially to help us today. We appreciate you. Do come back to see what happens next time. Do take care and do keep on streaming. <laughs>